So I was asked to share the things that I bring with myself when I'm traveling because I'm traveling a lot and I kind of uh, during many years I developed like what is what is actually needed, what actually works and I will just share a few things with you I have more <laughs> uh, I think one thing that is completely unreplaceable is Lungi or the COVID Pareo uh, uh, the, like the, the, the beauty of it is that you can use it for many many ways you can use it for uh, sleeping you can use it for covering yourself you can use it for making yourself warmer or you can use it as a scarf and you can use it as a dress or if you need, for example, you came to a beach and you need to change for a uh, swimming suit you just put it like this over your neck and it becomes a dress that covers your body and you can change under it and it's very easy so, and uh, the other way that I'm using Pareo is uh, if I don't have a bag and I need to carry with myself even if it's lots of stuff so I take the Pareo let's say I have some stuff and I put it inside I roll it in the middle so I make a nice roll and then this roll I put over my hips and it's giving weight straight to the leg so the back doesn't get tired and it's actually very comfortable it doesn't move uh, and you actually can carry a lot of stuff like this and whenever you want you just take it out and you and you use your stuff uh, now for example I'm using another pareo I made myself a skirt and now I'm working in a skirt that is also made just of a piece of fabric so you basically close it and you do one roll down and another roll down and you have it it doesn't matter if you're male or female it's very comfortable uh, so another thing that I really love to use is a thermos and especially this one that has a how do you call it? like a sieve huh? sieve sieve, sieve like so something that filters so you put the tea inside and then you close it and when you drink it the particles of tea doesn't, don't get into your mouth and this is very good for example I am traveling a lot in like in airplanes and any airport they would give me hot water so I would have my own tea with my own herbs with whatever I need it's always for free and I never use plastic uh, cups and this is like a good way to never use plastic cups uh, so one more thing I really recommend for those who love uh, going to trekking or running or mountains is this kind of shoes that is five fingers you can literally grab the, the rocks with your toes and it's not slippery it gives you a good friction and it's light so even if you carry lots of things it's uh, almost weight nothing uh, and it's also good for running especially if you do barefoot running that you basically use your toes and you don't use your heel and then if you don't use your heel for uh, stepping on the ground actually your knee doesn't get hit from the ground because you use all the joints in your foot to, to compensate the, the, the hip uh, so this is a thing I really love uh, cosmetics basically these are my cosmetics <laughs> uh, in a small uh, box uh, it's a dry shampoo, dry balsam uh, a little sponge and soap and this is what is enough for maybe for half a year uh, and also I use baking soda baking soda you can use just for washing your body it takes the old skin very well it also uh, it's uh, like it's alkaline uh, also you can uh, wash dishes with baking soda also you can use it instead of deodorant you put it wet under your armpits and what is good about it is that it's like normal antiperspirants like they block the uh, sweating and uh, this means that they block your hormones to go out 
and this is actually not healthy for the body and soda the other way around it helps things to come out but it makes that it doesn't smell uh, also you can use it uh, like in the morning when you wake up you can put a, a little spoon of soda and put hot water or lemon so it does this and it's alkalizing your body and also it helps you to clean uh, so it's just a very beautiful tool especially if you ate something that was not proper for you you take a good spoon of soda you drink it with water and it, 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 it washes out everything you don't need and also very cool for hair washing hair washing mm -hmm. uh, you can also combine like for hair washing you can also combine it with a uh, um, mustard powder actually mustard powder is uh, ta like taking away the grass so you can also use it for doing dishes you can also use it for uh, for cleaning your skin and for cleaning your hair uh, and it's also disinfecting so if you go to some places where are lots of people uh, and you want to do it ecologically you use mustard powder with soda for doing the dishes and then you are guaranteed there will be no bacteria going around uh, something else that I love, it's actually a very old one already, but it's very comfortable. I did for myself a bag uh, that I put on a belt. And this bag is size of Kindle, so I can put my Kindle here, or I can put my mobile phone, and it's always next to me, it's always easy to take away, uh, to take out. Uh, and uh, kind of it's something that I always can look at, and it's hard to steal especially if I put it here like, <laughs> it's hard to steal so I also carry my money here and for carrying money I have another little secret like this is the size of my wallet it's exactly good size for all the credit cards and for money if you bend them and uh, I have it with a mm. like with a little string so I tie it and then I never lose it it never falls down and nobody can go far away with it this is an one thing and another thing is that sometimes I travel in countries where uh, like not just stealing but uh, like people can take things from you just in the middle of the street just in the moment of your buying something so I use this wallet because it has a really tiny tiny rope on it and then I can put it around myself, make a little knot, and then I can put it under my under my clothes, and it's just not visible. Or I can do it another way. Uh, I will not show you exactly what kind of I put it like this, but under my shirt, and then it's here and it's hidden under the shirt. Uh, what else we have? Uh, these are the things that I use quite a lot with little bags uh, for storing food or some little stuff that I'm carrying and uh, if you take a big one then actually you can pack it very well with clothes and uh, because you pack, uh, this is something that you can pack easily very well then actually the clothes take not much space this is one way and another way of using it is that if I put something inside, uh, for example, I take a, uh, like a sweater or something else, I put it inside, I roll it, and then I have a pillow for meditation. And I always can put myself comfortably to sit in the right position that my uh, hip joints not. Uh, it's like that my pelvis is a little bit tilted forward and then my spine is straight and I can sit on my sit bones and not sit on my coccyx. Then it's actually making the proper uh, alignment for the spine and then the, uh, the back is not, not, not getting uh, tired. Uh, you can also use it as a pillow if you, <laughs> if you go hiking. Uh, also as a, as a pillow for meditation Sometimes you can use this kind of hammock. This is called Ticket to the Moon. It has the bag that is kind of a pillow for meditation. And also, if you use it with a carabiner, it's like a pillow for sleeping when you are in the airplane. Uh, but this is also a hammock. Actually, as a hammock, I almost never use it. <laughs> but I use it sometimes. I really like it. It's 
it's for two people. Uh, I like the lantern that I found that is uh, charging with USB. So I don't need to buy batteries all the time and I'm not wasting batteries. This is super good if you find one. Sometimes like they are very big but you can find actually small ones. This one made in Russia. <laughs> uh, I, I have um, a Thai balm that is uh, helping for the um, like for mosquito bites. Uh, but actually, if you don't have this, what is uh, working really good is uh, geranium oil, uh, essential oil of geranium. It is anti-inflammatory and it's good for any kind of bites. And I will say a little bit more about essential oils because this is something that takes really little space, but it, it has much use. The proper oil of eucalyptus is healing wounds incredibly well if you have a cut or if you have a burn then you put it on your wound you can put it straight it actually doesn't hurt it's very good uh, and uh, if you want it to stay longer because eucalyptus evaporates really fast you can also use it with uh, coconut oil uh, you can mix it uh, and it's all, you can also use it for the sunburn and just basically just to put on your skin uh, so here I carry, it's not actually coconut oil, it's liquidy oil, it's much more, uh, like it spreads better, so I really like this quantity, it's enough for me for half a year. Uh, and uh, also about the essential oils, the very important oil is fennel, uh, it takes away the poisons. So if you got a spider bite, or a snake bite, or something else that is actually dangerous, you can put it really uh, straight into the wound to kill the poison you can also take it inside and if you take it inside you take it with honey or sugar so it really gets well into the body because the oils are not really dissolving well in water but with sugar or with honey they they are dissolving well so the main oils that i use is eucalyptus for wounds the fennel for poisons also if you have food poisoning like whatever poisoning you have uh, and uh, uh, geranium for inflammation uh, or for mosquito bites, citronella as an anti-mosquito and, uh, and the lemon oil that you can add to your toothpaste and then uh, it actually helps you to protect your tooth like lemon or orange to protect them from caries. Uh, well, uh, that's it with the oils. I also like, like having little bags, especially this kind of bags, for example, if you carry around like toilet paper or something that you need, if you put it inside, it doesn't get uh, mess, messy. Uh, and, uh, yes, and, uh, well, I think, uh, with the remedies, there is banatsin, uh, like I bought it in Thailand, but actually you can buy it in many countries, it's like a yellow powder. Uh, that is uh, when the wound is very wet, uh, you put this powder on and it heals it and it also dries it. So it helps for the wounds, uh, especially if you are in a wet climate, not to get bad. Uh, and I use uh, uh, peroxygen, how you call it, like uh, hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide. peroxide. Uh, if I need to disinfect something, or actually you can put a little bit into the water that you are drinking and it gives you more active oxygen so it's actually even good for consuming uh, or if I need to clean my moon cup also I can use this and I don't have to carry things around uh, I normally carry quite a big um, um, plaster because when it is big you can cut it into pieces that will be as narrow as you need, for example, if I need just a small piece, I can do like this. And this type of plaster, you see it's not very thick, so when it is wet, uh, then it, it dries well again. Uh, I used to carry at least one or two carabiners to attach some small stuff. And uh, I used to carry at least one, normally two or three pieces of rope. Uh, when it is uh, 4 to 6 millimeters uh, thick, it's already enough to, for hanging a hammock or like to, for hanging a weight of a person. Uh, so, 
you can use it for hanging hammock or for hanging a swing or for something else but there is much more use to it for example uh, if you need to like you, you came to a place and there is no furniture and you don't have where to put your stuff so you can just make a loop hang it somewhere and you can put your things uh, like hanging in this loop like this and you can put put many things on the loop or you can do even better you can do a few knots of this kind and then it's like you have few few points where you can put different stuff to hang for example here I will put my skirt here I will put my scarf and here I will put my pants and then they can go together, they don't take space and I can put it in any tree or in any room just on a door for example uh, and a couple of things more this is what I really really like uh, I, I like to drink from a proper cup, from some cup that I like but it's normally not very easy to carry around the cup because it can be broken so I made a, like a little coat for it and it's very sweet to always have something that like uh, reminds me of home and that is very cozy and it is very safe to carry it around and uh, yes and I have a little plate that exactly suits it and I always have my plate and my spoon so I tend not to use the plates and the spoons of other people and that is actually protects me in terms of bacteria uh, but also it makes me ready all the time like for, for anything that I need uh, and the last thing that I really enjoy uh, is this kind of support for a mobile phone that if I need to watch something for a long time or I need to uh, record myself I put here the mobile phone I can hang it on a tree I can just put it on a uh, on a table and it actually weighs nothing I put here a mobile phone and, and I use it with this support so my hands are always free and let's see if there is something else uh, yes and there is this uh, little hat that I got from an uh, Egyptian tailor uh, what's good about this thing is that if you are a lot in the sea then your ears get wet and if it's windy it's actually dangerous for the ears to, to get in inflammation so you can use it to protect the ears but also you can use it to sleep if you are in a bus or in some place where it's too much light for you uh, and yeah actually maybe I would say that uh, for the bottles I tend not to carry around uh, like uh, mm, discardable like the one time plastic bottles uh, I always use the plastic like the bottle that is proper that uh, is not uh, giving you particles of plastic because like normal bottles if you use them too long they, they actually give plastic into water and also I just never buy water in plastic bottles and I have my one and normally even if it's uh, like there is no certain source to refill I can come to any restaurant and I ask them to refill my bottle and normally they are happy to help me because I say to them that I'm not using plastic um, and uh, I have uh, ah, one more thing that is actually great uh, when you have two of them this is uh, like this is a cord with which you can attach anything to anything so if it's not enough uh, room in your backpack for example you have a sleeping mat or something else and you can attach something outside uh, and you don't have to make knots out of uh, like with a rope you just tie this uh, little stripe and of course I think this is something everyone has is a echo bag instead of plastic bag that you can use many times but also if you are tired to carry it with one hand you can carry it as a backpack and then your hands are free and it's actually much more comfortable
So that's it. Thank you for your attention. And maybe you have some other tools that you are using. So under this post, you are very welcome to share it. Mm-hmm. <laughs>